Okay, this is a 2005 Toyota Prius, which has the air for the park lock. So I'm going to hold the brake and push the start button. And when it comes on, I get the triangle of death. And immediately I get this. The transmission P-lock mechanism is abnormal. Park your car on a flat surface and apply the brake. Now, I'm just going to do something here. I'm going to hold the info button for three seconds now. It's going to be hard because i got to hold this and turn the headlights on and off three times. One, two, three, and then this comes up. I'm going to go to menu. I'm going to go to display check, vehicle signal check, and you see my battery's at 14.3. I turn off my headlights. It stays at 14.3. Turn it back on. Now, if I turn off the vehicle, I'm not going to push the brake this time. I'm going to turn it on. And I'm going to do it again. I'm going to hold the info button. And at the same time, turn it on and off the headlights three times. One, two, three. We bring this up again. This time, I'm going to look at the battery. And this without the car running. It's 11.8. I've charged the battery several times. It's not an old battery, but some people say it's supposed to be 12.6. I can't get it there. Anyways, I'm going to see if there's another way to fix this park lock problem. I heard there's a, a fuse inside that doesn't get a good connection. So let me turn this back off. Whoops. As you can see, I got the red triangle of death. That's the only error I have. And I'm going to turn the vehicle off. See, I went back up to 14.3. Turn it back off. Pop the hood. Oh. And I'm going to go in the fuse box here. And supposedly, there's a connector that goes from here to one of the fuses over here, which it's hard to see. Um, and there's a wire that's not making a good connection from here to here. So I'm going to work on looking for that wire and I'll be back. Okay, so after reading a lot of posts and a lot of things online, that 7.5 amp fuse that's right at the top there with the green wire coming out, that's called the PECON, which is the parking um, mechanism. And it's right there at the very top, PECON main, 7.5 amp. That's that fuse right there. Um, on the right side of that fuse is 12.7 volts, but on the left side is the output, which is when the fuse is installed. So what I did is run that wire up here to where this blue wire is at right here. I looked and the connection's a little crappy. Sorry for the light. I'm trying to get my lighting correct. This wire right here, this blue one, I put the wire off of that. I jumped it off of the left side on there. I know this is kind of hokey, but when I put it on there, I connected it, pushed it into that where the blue wire goes right there, if you can see that. And then when I turn on the car now, I'm going to go back inside the car. If you remember just a short time ago, it said P-lock every time, and it's had the red triangle of death. So what I'm going to do is try this again. So now the triangle's gone, and I'm no longer getting that. Now did bring up that it's cold outside. Yeah, I know it's cold outside. I don't know why it's showing that because I'm parked in a garage and it's about 60 in here. So I don't know if that's just not functioning or what's going on with it. It is cold outside, but again, I'm inside. Anyways, um, I went back to info and nothing changed on there. That's when I hold the info button. I got to do it with uh, one hand here and turn the headlights on and off three times. One, two, three um, bring up this screen here when I go back to here I'm still getting the same voltage now I'm going to shut off the car Oops. or turn on the windshield wipers 
Sorry, my exhaust um, is rattling. I got to fix that next. Um, I'm going to go back to info again. I'm going to hold info and press on and off the headlight switch three times. Go back to menu. And as you can see, it's at 11.8, which is basically where it was when I started. So this hasn't changed, but that wire has. So now when I start the car, turn off the wipers. The red triangle of death is gone. Let me turn this back off and get rid of that screen. Turn it back on. As you can see, I'm not getting the park lock problem. Now, I used to only get this when it was wet weather outside. So my guess is that this wire has a problem and it's, um, I tried with my multimeter to try and find out where that broken connection was and I could not find it. So I'm gonna route a little bit longer wire. I just did this for temporary to test it and it worked. So uh, good luck. Give it a try and see if it works for you. Thanks for watching.